Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you how to clone hard drive to several hard drives at the same time and at high speed. Now we have collected one hard drive as a source drive to the SATA 1. First step, we need to select the source drive to clone. Now the SATA 1, we need to choose it as a source drive. Next, we need to select disk image. This option offers users the capabilities of sector by sector image. Next, we need to select the target disk. So after the clone, after the disk image, the target disk will have exactly the same contents. If the source drive has good operating system, Without damage, then the target drive can be used as one booting drive as well. We can simply connect the target drive to its computer, and its computer will boot up normally. Now let's check the next step. The next SATA zero. Right now the program has part on the target drive automatically. We can see the source drive has a capacity of 250 gigabytes and its target drive has a capacity of 640 gigabytes. Usually, as target drive, we can use the same capacity or a little bit bigger capacity because for clone, visually, not, we don't waste its capacity. So the same capacity hard drives are the best choices for clone purposes. Usually at this step, we can click Start Recovery, start this icon immediately, and then we can start the disk image or we can start the clone immediately. However, and we need to check the settings for clone. If your PC has good performance and configurations, we usually untick this one, the green source, the green resource mode. After we unclick this one, the imaging speed will become higher. Here is right blocking. For all other settings, we can leave it as default. Click OK and then we can click Start. Now we can see that the program is now imaging all the data from the source drive. This is source drive to the target drive. So we can see all the contents here on the fly. This is sector by sector image, so we can also call it clone, data clone. For many users, they have large quantities of data to be transferred to good drives as offline backup. So for this kind of users, it is very necessary and important to backup the data to multiple hard drives. Sometimes, when the amount of data is very big, so we need to prepare more backups and we need to save the time at high speed. So, users can select DFSRP or DFLPCIE disk imager. Because this drive 
can not only image the good drives to the target drive at high speed, it can image properly the source drive, which are faulty or with bad sectors to the target drive properly, with different settings users can set. So this is definitely one ideal tool for data clone or disk image. So after the image, we can try to stop and see. Suppose we have imaged the whole source drive to the target drive. We can now try to view the target. Let's try to check the sector zero. That's the booting sector. And we can see here at the end of the sector zero, it's 55BB. But to make sure that the target disk can be booted normally within the computer, we need to edit this one. Edit BB to AA. And then we can click right. Now we can see right success. So we need to read again and com compare. Now we can see the target disk sector zero, the end mark has changed from 55BB to 55AA. Because we have just to read it again to compare and make sure that the write has been completed. Now, after this change, we can power off the target drive and power on the target drive. Then the target drive can be used perfectly with the computer to, as, to be used as one boot drive. So it's very important for users to remember that after the image or after the clone, it is a must to change the target drive here. To change the target drive sector zero, the end the end characters, the 55BB to 55AA. So this is the only step users need to perform to complete the data clone. Thank you for watching this video.